Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Lanting, America's allergist. We're talking about allergic rhinitis in the nose. Why should I treat? Well, you shouldn't put up with all the symptoms that we've talked about. But there are other things that can come up too. Let's go through some of the other conditions that can occur from having an unhappy nose. The biggest might be chronic ear infections in our little guys. Well, like they say, chronic otitis media. Why does it happen? Many different reasons. The ear canal in kids is small and has a weird anatomy for the first couple of years, but a lot of it is because the ear is drained through these tubes into the throat. They're called eustachian tubes, and that takes air and fluid out of the ear system. But if there's chronic nose problems and drip, and it's inflamed down here, you have an inefficient system, eustachian tube dysfunction. Fancy for saying that the ears can't drain well, and so if they're all stuffed up, they can get infected. What does that mean? Well, the little guys feel unhappy and they have to have antibiotics uh, or they just feel bad for a certain amount of time until it goes away. But if it occurs over and over again and it's chronic, what is the treatment? And the proper treatment are tubes to equalize the ear pressure and fluid. And that's because if you have chronic ear infections, then it leads to speech and language delays in kids. But we think that a lot of this, because it's secondary to allergies, if you treat the nose and get the allergies under control, then ear infections or chronic otitis media disappears and becomes less frequent. Well, that means less infections, less visits to your doctor or the emergency department, but also that means maybe not having to have surgery and not having to have ear tubes. We talked about chronic problems here causing asthma with the one airway theory. Also, what else can happen? Well, headaches. We talk the sinus or air-filled cavities here drain through the nose, but if it's stuffy, you get blocked up here. So if you open this up, then headaches become less frequent or go away. Also, what we're finding, and they're not formal studies, but we call anecdotal studies for those of us we've seen in practice, migraines become less frequent or go away with good allergy and allergic rhinitis care. That's because migraines have an inflammatory component to them, just like your immune system with allergies is inflammatory. So since they're related, a lot of people who have migraines, if you take care of the allergies in the nose, feel better. And not all migraines have an allergic component. But again, in our practice, since we see allergic people all the time, we deal with a lot of migraines and people do wonderful with good allergy care. So again, other reasons to treat the nose and feel great. Remember, wood allergies, allergic rhinitis, you should feel fantastic, have no symptoms, and have a symptom-free life. I'm Bill Lanting, America's allergist. Take care.